Welcome to the A-Level Film Studies Taster PowerPoint. Okay, first thing I'd like you to think about is whether or not the course is right for you. Do you enjoy watching films? And can you instantly think of the last film that you saw? Um, are you able to explain why you went to see it? Um, what makes you go to the cinema and what makes you watch films? So what I'd like you to do is just pause the PowerPoint for 30 seconds and just think about your answers to these particular questions. Pause now. OK, now, depending on how easy it was to come up with your answers, um, we'll give you some insight into whether or not this course is for you. And if they, your answers come to you quite easily, this could be a good course to take up. Um, now, on the next two slides, we've included some of the uh, some quotes from pupils that have studied film studies in the past, um, and I think it gives you an insight into what to expect and how pupils take on the course and how they uh, progress through the course. Um, there is a lot of work there essentially are all the, the courses essay based so there will be a lot of essay writing so again if that's something that you find very very difficult it may be a reason to think again okay so essentially film studies and and films um, are about audience and it's how the directors and the production team can manipulate an audience into believing something or feeling something and it's about how they create meaning and to be successful in the film studies course you have to be able to analyze films um, and talk about how you feel what meaning you think is created and be able to support those points of view with evidence and essentially you're putting those points and those pieces of evidence into an essay now when you're writing these essays we will be looking at theorists and one particular theorist that we focus on in the course is um, a guy called Rich Dyer and he believes audiences go to the cinema to see things and experience things that they don't get in their everyday lives. And these can include community. And essentially, this means to be able to see groups of people working together. Abundance, being able to experience um, luxuries that in real life, It'd be very unusual to be able to experience. Transparency, being able to, for example, see two characters who you think belong together. We've all seen the films that, um, that include two characters who argue and fight and we know that they are going to end up together. Intensity. Being able to be on the edge of our seats while we watch a film, being able to create anxiety and tension within the audience. And energy, this idea of creating excitement within an audience, being able to experience uh, exciting situations that maybe would be extremely unusual to see in our everyday lives. So this brings me on to this idea of meaning. Now, Richard Dyer believes we fill gaps in our own lives. And when we go to the cinema, and when we watch films, we analyze consistently through the films. And we do this to create different feelings of emotion. So meanings are created by producers and directors. This can be done through, for example, different props on set, different facial expressions and dialogue. So what I'd like you to do, I've included some still images on the next 
three slides. What I'd like you to do is take a look at each one and I'd like you to spend around three or four minutes and for each one I'd like you to look at um, the genre you think it could fall into, the mood and what elements create that mood, what could happen next in the particular scene and why, what type of music you would choose to put behind this particular scene, how an audience would feel watching this particular scene and why and all of these questions and all of these answers that you're writing is you beginning to analyze particular films remember the and why parts of the question are crucial as you are offering a point and then supporting it with an element from the still image this idea of offering your opinion of what genre it could be or what mood it could create and using something from the still image to support that particular point. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to pause it in between the slides, take a look, analyse it for three or four minutes and be writing and answering those particular questions. So I'd like you to work through and pause at each point and we'll go from there. OK, so those particular skills of being able to analyse a still image can be taken into analysing um, an actual film clip and an actual film. And essentially, that is what the film studies course relies on. And it will need you and require you to have an interest in other films, black and white films, silent films, uh, the world cinema. But more importantly, it will expect you to be able to analyse and being able to show an understanding of how sound creates meaning, of how cinematography can create meaning, different editing techniques, costumes, props, that sort of thing. Which brings us on to our next task. Um, what I'd like you to do, um, after I've explained what you're going to do, I'd like you to click on the YouTube link and watch the clip from a film called The Hurt Locker. And I'd like you to consider how you feel and what feelings you go through whilst watching the clip. I'd like you to note down three or four different feelings. And for each one of those feelings, I'd like you to note down something regarding the sound or the cinematography or the lighting, or the dialogue, something cinematic that supports those feelings. OK, off you go. OK, now hopefully you, um, you managed to get quite a bit out of that. It causes real anxiety, this particular film, this idea of um, a soldier being in that particular environment and it plays on the intensity of the particular situation and the cinematography of the buildings and the sounds of the silence and the, the, the real life environment creates a real tense atmosphere. OK, so moving on to the course outline. Um, the course is split into three particular sections, uh, two exams and the internal assessment, which in other words, is called your coursework. Exam one focuses on film history, and that's something that Mrs. Betts will focus on. Exam two is shared between myself and Mrs. Betts, um, and that includes you focusing on critical approaches. Um, the third part, is the internal assessment and that's something that you'll be doing with me Mr Lacomba. Um, it's a 10 page screenplay uh, partnered with a 20 frame digital storyboard and after you finish those two particular pieces of work you will then go on to write a reflective analysis. Now the internal assessment is uh, quite large and it does take a lot of time and a lot of patience and a lot of planning. So something that you need to be aware of in that respect. 
Okay, so you're hopefully interested in taking up film studies. The next three slides outline the summer milestones. Now, we expect these to be, to be completed by the first day back, and they are set to prepare you for the course. Right now, you might be feeling a little bit overwhelmed. The tasks I've set, you might be thinking, oh, I'm really not sure. But what we're looking for, as far as the milestones are concerned, is effort to actually go out there and watch the films, to watch the clips, to create and produce the work. Because once we have the work, once you've put that effort in, we can then start to add to it and adapt it as we need to. OK, so um, I'm going to just talk very quickly through the summer milestones. Um, they do describe themselves. Um, so number one is to watch the 1960 version of Psycho. And you're looking for a 300 word analysis. Again, building suspense. How does he create meaning, Hitchcock? Uh, research the following three areas of conflict the Iraq War, the Sino Japanese War, and the apartheid in South Africa. Watch the subway scene from The Matrix. I would advise watching all of The Matrix, I think it's a fantastic film. Um, but if you could watch the subway scene, just the subway scene from the Matrix. Um, I have included the link. Um, and what I'd like you to do is create a short screenplay. Now, in the next couple of slides, I have given you some guidance on how to create and write a screenplay. And lastly, I'd like you to, using your print screen feature on your laptop or other applicable programs, I'd like to capture five freeze frames from the scene. OK, five free freeze frames from the scene of the matrix. And I'd like you to annotate them with at least four annotations on each, referring to key elements. So I'd like you to freeze frame uh, and print screen from the matrix uh, clip. And I'd like you to just annotate for different elements that could create or you think I'll put there for meaning. And I have put a little bit more guidance on that in the in the next two slides. So I've just offered a few instructions here for your screenplay. And something hopefully that will help you out is an example of what how a screenplay or how part of the screenplay should look and what I'm expecting from the annotations. Um, I hope you enjoyed this PowerPoint. Um, if you're really interested and you've got any questions, please email myself and uh, or Mrs. Betts. And thank you.